Well, good morning, everyone. And of course, that was not serious what you just said. And welcome to our annual St. Gallen Symposium, now in its 42nd year. Given the fast pace of change we all can observe around us, we have to look at this globalized world and the constantly new challenge it is posing to us with a fresh perspective and find new answers every year. This is, of course, what universities and this university dedicated to educate the future elite in business, politics, and society in particular is all about. To constantly question the status quo and look for ever better answers and solutions to the challenges of our times. This symposium is striving to live up to these high standards every year with high caliber speakers and substantial debates attuned to the pulse of the times and the demands of the future. I therefore call upon you to make the best use of the next two days, to involve yourselves productively in the debates and to openly express your opinion. The program offers, in my view, many, many opportunities to do so. The title of this year's symposium, as we heard, is Facing Risk. This is both a factual statement and a call for action. Risks are part of our professional and private lives and manifest themselves everywhere around us in continuously changing new forms. Being able to recognize those risks and to take appropriate preventive action, mitigate them, or indeed take advantage of them is the prerequisite for success. I think it is crucial to perceive the handling of risks as an opportunity to make progress. Innovation, quite often, is the offspring of dealing with risk. And if you look at the problems and challenges of our times, you will surely agree with me that we have to deal with significant risk for which we have find and to find new solutions. To implement those solutions, we must also be prepared to accept new risks. This is particularly true for the next generation of decision makers, the leaders of tomorrow, as we call them here in St. Cullen. They will have to face risks we do not know yet. But in a fast-changing world, also the leaders of today have to adapt constantly to new challenges. 